lack of finance can destroy and destroy your spiritual life more than you know i always teach that finance is not about money it's about time redemption it's a cost to spend your life looking for money welcome to start now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word is it life as you listen and watch may you experience the transformative power of god's life you will never it takes time to know god and it takes time to be impactful it takes time to build understanding pursuing money all your life is a cause god cannot design a system like that we have built some of you here have schools and you build the curriculum with such intelligence how will god design a system where a man comes and all he does in his life is just trying to and you know every time you pretend that finance is not important you implicate your destiny let me show you one scripture is that all right if i show you genesis chapter 42 mm. and then we'll pray genesis chapter 42 please give me volume mike let's start from verse one please read with me if you're a christian it's projected ready one to read now when jacob saw that there was corn in egypt jacob said to his sons why do ye look upon one another verse 2 and he said behold i have heard that there is corn in egypt stop i've heard that there's corn where there is a technology with which satan takes men to egypt he keeps corn in egypt and even if you are a prophet you must go to egypt to eat corn and become a slave in egypt hunger is the authorized channel for leading men to egypt corn he said get you down thither and buy for us from thence that we may live help me please and not die without corn you would die and the devil ensures that there is famine in the land and corn only in egypt a prophet was hungry and he sent his future to egypt to look for corn prophets can be hungry if you don't master the art of this corn and wine you must go to egypt corn has taken many people to egypt pastor corn has relocated people out of god's will corn has made nigerians to smuggle their way from nigeria through chad through this down i mean you see what people go through in search for corn Corn has brought people into all kinds of things that should not be. But the Bible says, wealth and riches shall be in his house. In his house. When it was time to do the miracle, he didn't tell the widow of Zarephath, go somewhere. He said, I want to bring that miracle in your house. In your house. Please hear me. Everything God told you in his word is real. God does not scam people between his promises and performance and mysteries and lights that you must know and failure to know it will keep you quoting scripture till you die quoting scripture is important but it's only a key one key may not open all doors please hear me we're going to pray I trust God that what I've shared with you would have challenged you that in the course of this conference and as other speakers continue to come and build on this you will make up your mind i may not know what the solution is but one thing i know is i must get out of this situation now there is an insistence that must come my church must grow lord it is to your glory my business must grow lord it is to your glory I can't be paying the school fees of my child and is returning back with an evil report there are reports called evil reports the spies came with it it's an evil report god himself said it
every other thing is increasing except your salary bills increasing everything increasing and you get to a point where you cannot pray again the last thing you remember saying is in jesus name and worry continues the prayer you walk up and down a house how do i rent this hall now your wife says honey say if you call me that name again you were not like that egypt is doing something to you please listen to what i'm telling you you are going to pray people are depressed have you seen people who talk to themselves alone in the car no traffic until they go and die i mean you kick your car and drive yourself to a tree in life is this how things will be how old am i that i'm depressed and before you know it you are in the hospital i reject that for anybody here high blood pressure used to be something for older people people after 50. now you see someone some of you are doctors here 2021 you measure his pp and you say what are you thinking about say doctor if you know what is on this head as you are seeing me i started fending for my family from age 15. why wouldn't i have high blood pressure do you think you can be a pastor under that condition no sir ask any man of god here to prepare a sermon takes time and that time will only come when some things are settled let's not tell ourselves the truth they, let's 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 not lie to ourselves are we together so every time satan manipulates the economy something is happening like many of you now joyless people all around not because they were like that you know how you want to know how people really are see them when they are old you now say daddy why were you angry all through in your youth i mean you're a happy man he said i started happy i'm ending happy something happened on the way this anger was not my making this is what god is correcting yes yes sir yes sir that's what he's correcting don't mind ignorant people that tell you don't focus on these things let me tell you i say it with all humility this man talking to you knows god and i understand the anointing but i know what will happen a prophet sent his children they were not captured in war hunger made him say see i'm a prophet but i'm about to die go to egypt go and look for corn you may never believe that one day you can send your child to go and do what should not be done until hunger comes when you hear listen let me tell you this when you when you hear that a family someone is collecting bribe just say lord help me oh for as long as there is an uncle paying that rent for you it's all right the day the uncle says well i've tried for you you too you have seen the faithfulness of god i send you in the name of jesus and just when he's sending you the landlord now says please this thing is 1.7 or you go out you will pray you will fast you will beg friends and get to a point where you say you know what see this life and satan will come he came two years ago you casted him no, no, i'm a holy he waits first satan is not a fool he's many things but a fool he will come at your point of pressure even jesus when jesus was weary at gethsemane yeah he comes again and jesus said is it possible that we negotiate salvation but he said no nevertheless nevertheless so that our children will not be sent to egypt to go and look for corn for god's sake no his righteousness endures forever 